Hi, my name's Paul, and I wanted to show you a very quick tip about using iClone and Unity. So I was asked in one of the comments whether you can use lip sync with Unity, and yes, you can. So if I just press run here, just concentrate on this male character. You can see his lips are moving, his body's moving, his face is moving. It's just a very quick animation. So if we go to iClone, this is that animation again. So we can just play it here. All right. So that's just a very quick. Right. And the problem is, is that it doesn't appear to be very obvious how you get this uh, Visimi file with the lip sync and the motion into Unity. So the real trick is, is you have to use this collect clip. Now this thing, you just sort of choose how long the clips are that you're going to take. So here this bar is that long, so it's going to take in that much motion and that much of the Visimi file, the lip sync file. And then you right click this and you say add to motion library, well add to motion plus library I should say. And then you've got the motion and you've got the facial animation and that's going to bring in the Visimi files. You can say okay to that and then you just save it out as a motion plus. So I saved it out as face lip test. And then you go into character creator. And again, it doesn't matter what the model is. You can just come in here and say export clothed character. You say it's Unity and typically you scroll down. This catches a few people out. Say it's Unity, you just want the motion. And the important thing is that you say custom and then I would come into here like this. So you just press open here and you say face and lip test. And then you save it and export it. And then in Unity, you just drag that folder in, the resulting folder into the assets. And here's your animation with all the various bits that you need. So that is my tip to how to get from a lip sync and body and face motion in iClone all the way into Unity. Okay, thanks.